It's time for me to go. Next time I come up, I'll bring you some new moccasins. You can get rid of those. No, Brave Star. These moccasins are very precious to me. They remind me of when you were a boy. Why are you wearing my moccasins? Well, you told me that I couldn't really understand someone until I walked in his moccasins. <laughs> so I did. But walking in his moccasins doesn't mean to put his moccasins on. It means it's not fair to judge somebody until you go through the same things as he does. I see. As you grow older, there will be many times when you must remember this saying. I haven't forgotten, Shaman. Then go in peace, my son. The shaman sends his best wishes. Mmm, thanks. Where to now? Panamint Waterhole. I got reports of problems out there. Great star. You want a drink? <coughs> you got a this isn't your water. We don't have to pay to drink here. Just pull your gun, Dad. They'll scatter. <laughs> Go ahead. <sighs> we'll find another water hole. <laughs> Yella. Dad! You don't have to be afraid of- Hold on there! You gotta pay us no matter where you go! You see, we're deputies, and you have to do what we say, so hang up! You aren't deputies! Where's your badges? Badges? <coughs> we don't need no stinking badges! You you better get out of here, or I'll get on the radio and call the marshal! You won't need the radio, son. Ah, marshal Bravestar! What do you want? <coughs> I heard there were some fellas out this way robbing prospectors. Let's see if that dingo can ride without his robot. Take a shortcut and get ahead of them. We're free, Star Go! Now! <laughs> Marshal, it's all a mistake like 
we didn't do nothing. Is that right? Then why'd you run? We panicked, Marshal. It's all mistake. Mistake, huh? Well, let's go see what that prospector calls it. Great star. I'm willing to call it a misunderstanding if they are. Well, you needn't be afraid, mister. Just press charges and I'll put them in jail. No, Marshal. There are no charges to press. Mark and I are new here. We don't want trouble. I don't believe it. You're not as stupid as you look, stranger. <laughs> you heard the man, 3030. Turn him loose. <laughs> I heard him, but I don't like it. Seems like I know you, mister. Say, aren't you Marsh? You know me. I'm Lucas Conway. Just plain Lucas Conway. I see. All right. What's the big mystery? Mystery? What mystery? What are you talking about? Hmm, what am I talking about? Lucas Conway. Who is he? What's his story? Lucas Conway was a planetary marshal on Rigel 7. What? <laughs> that guy? A planetary marshal? Yep, and he was one of the best. And then there was some kind of trouble, and he turned in his badge. Well, it seems to me that son of his has more courage than his father. Well, maybe, maybe not. Mm, nice work, Scuzz. We send you out to shake down some two-bit prospectors, and you decide to tangle with the law. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault Brave Star showed up. That Lucas guy would have... Lucas. The prospector was named Lucas. Yeah, <laughs> Lucas Conway and his son. Lucas Conway? <laughs> What's the big deal? Lucas Conway was the marshal that sent me to jail. Mm, sent you to jail? I had to go too. It was on account of you that... Ah, uh, knock it off. What matters is we're finally gonna have a chance to get even. <laughs> so he has a son. Perfect. I have to run some samples into the assay office, Mark. And I want you to stay here and mind the camp while I'm gone. his afternoon nap. No, I... I was so sleepy. That smoke, it's coming from my camp. from some <laughs> friends of yours. Hello, Marshal Conway. Remember us? Two-Face, I remember you all right. Uh, just want to let you know, we have your boy Mark here with us. If you want him back, You'll have to come and get him. Marshal Bravestar, 
Scuzz and a nombre named Two-Face have taken my boy. Taken your boy? Yes, and I aim to go after him. I'd appreciate your help. Mmm, a little late, isn't it? Guess you should have let us lock up Scuzz when you had the chance, Marshal. What's with you, anyway? Easy, part. It's okay. You and your partner's got a right to know about me. Back on Rigel 7, I figured I was just about the toughest lawman in the galaxy. I'd already arrested most of the crooks on the planet and sent them off to jail, including a certain no-good bird by the name of Two-Face. One night, a band of renegade robots attacked a mining camp in the Rondon Mountains. Back then, I thought I was plenty good with a neutralizer, so when my deputy and I caught up with them, didn't even stop to think before I started shooting at those robots. And I hit my own deputy. I hit my deputy. I almost killed him. As it was, I crippled him for life. I haven't touched a gun since then, and I've kept away from anything that could lead to a fight. But that's all in the past. Two-Face has my son, and I'll do whatever it takes to get him back. Anything. Will you help me? Of course. Let's go. Rage Stars! Wake up, sleepyhead. You won't get away with this. Somebody will rescue me. Well, I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> that lily-livered father of yours. He'll be here. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Besides, if anybody tries to rescue you... Oh, we'll just have to give them a nice, warm welcome. This is your babysitter, Mark. Its name is Robo Shooter. It's also a little surprise for your father if he decides to show up. That is one heck of a hideout. How are we gonna get up there? Two-Face has to have an entrance somewhere. Let's take a look. <laughs> and there it is. It's Lucas, all right, and he's brought the marshal with him. <laughs> it's time to give them a hot welcome. <laughs> Look out! It's hot lava! Run for it! <laughs> it worked! How will we get past that lava? Come on, 30-30. I'll hit him high, you hit him low. Let's do it. Strength of the bear! bear. Get in there, fast! Gus is getting out of here! There it is, the entrance to Two Faces Hideout. Bah, they won't get past this. Right. They've closed the gate. Guess I better go knock, bear style. Strength of the bear! bear! Let's go find Mark. Right with you, Brave Star. Yeah! Let's do some stomping! Mark! Mark! Dad! Dad! I'm in here! 
Wait. Ears of the Wolf. Dad! Help! I'm in here! That way. Marks. Surprise! Shut up and shoot. I'm going after my son. Thirty thirty. <laughs> One down and two. <laughs> Now you done it! Mm, you done gone and made me mad! Yeah. Time for Betty Bye, Brave Star. Oh, no, I uh, sleep. Wake up! This is no time to sleep. Oh, oh I can't move. First, that lava, you started a chain reaction. This whole place is gonna blow. What, huh? What, what's going on? Put the cuffs on these hombres and get them out of here. I've got to find Lucas and Mark. No! No! Help! Help! Well, if you won't use your gun, I will! Mark, don't! Ah, my leg! Mark! You're hurt! Dad, look out! Who invited a shooting robot to this party? Braystar, please, my father. He saved me. You got a mighty brave father there, son. I know that now. Hang on, Mark. We gotta get out of here in a hurry. Between a rock and a hard fall. Strength of the bear! Hold on tight, Mark. Hurry it up! Get out of there! We need to get Lucas to the dock, pronto. Hmm, you got a nasty bump there, fella. But I expect you'll be up and about in a couple of days. Thanks, Doc. I always thought shooting guns was all fun and games. But now I know guns can hurt you. Hurt you? Guns can kill, Mark. And I thought my father was a coward because he wouldn't use this gun. I just didn't understand. You know, Mark, a very wise man once told me that you don't really know a person until you've walked a mile in his moccasins. I think you've just walked more than a mile in your dad's. And you've learned what kind of a man your father really is. 
But what do I do, Marshal? How do I apologize for the things I said? Just tell your father how you feel. Tell him what you just told me. You do that and everything's gonna be all right. And that's a promise. Thank you, Marshal. Seems like there's always something to learn, and today we learned that sometimes you have to walk a mile in another person's shoes before you understand them. Well, how's walking in a fella's shoes help? You mean you understand why they have sore feet? No, it means you'll better understand the reason a person's the way he is. Ah, and why he does the things he does. Right. You know, if you'd walk a mile in my horseshoes, maybe you'd understand me better. <laughs>